In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean an MDF stethoscope from start to finish. Hey, hey, what's up guys? Nurse Jenny here. In this video, I'll be going through how to clean the entire 777 MDF Cheetah stethoscope from the ear tips to the diaphragm to the whole stethoscope. And if you're like me into all things nursing, please consider subscribing. And if you found this video at all helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let's get into the video. So I'll give you a general rundown on how I clean my stethoscope after each patient use. So what I do, um, I start with the ear tips and I always use these alcohol wipes, which I always keep in my pocket at all times. You never know when you're going to need it. Just open that one and just clean the ear tips. Just like that. I clean the, the diaphragm that's been on the patient. Right, clean both sides, just like that. And if I need to, um, I can grab a new one and clean the tubing. I might not clean the tubing every time I've used it, but certainly the ear tips and the diaphragm. I clean it down, just like that. You'll be amazed at how dirty your stethoscope is. Often, yep, see you go. I haven't even used this a lot and this is quite dirty. So that's just a general clean I do day to day, all the time, um, after I used it on a patient. It's pretty, pretty easy, pretty quick. Um, and if I borrow someone else's stethoscope, which you shouldn't, but I do sometimes, I always take an alcohol wipe out and I clean the ear tips and, and off I go. When it comes to a thorough clean of your stethoscopes, um, which you might do every three months or something, I don't know, depending on how dirty your stethoscope gets, um, I would take the ear tips and I would actually just pull them off. Depending on what stethoscope you have, this MDF ones, they just pull off. And I would use something like um, an, a cotton bud, uh, a Q-tip, those things you clean your ear with, ears with. And I would dip it in alcohol and I would just clean inside from both sides. Clean, clean, clean. Make sure you can't see anything visibly dirty in there. And then attach attach it to the stethoscope again and I will do the same for the other one. Then when it comes to the diaphragm, I would take the diaphragm off and I would, again, I would use a, a cotton tip, I would dip it in alcohol and I would clean all the crevices inside the, um, the diaphragm and on the chest piece. The chest piece has got crevices as well. And, and then I would reattach the diaphragm after that. And then I would just, uh, as usual, I would clean the, um, the um, the tubing with um, an alcohol wipe, maybe a few more if you want to do a thorough clean. You could also, as per the MDF instructions, use a um, cotton cloth or cotton um, ball or something like that. If you wanted to clean the non-chill rim or the pediatric bell side, I would remove the non-chill rim or the pediatric bell and I would do the same as with the large diaphragm. Um, I would take a cotton swab dip it in alcohol and clean it all around inside, all around the crevices, and then let it dry and put it back on. So let's talk a little bit about these alcohol swabs that I'm using to clean the stethoscope. This is a 70% isopropyl alcohol alcohol prep pad. Now most, most hospitals, I would hope all of them, keep these around readily available for nurses to use because you need them for all sorts of things. But if you don't have these, can't get a hold of them, you can, by the way, buy these from the chemist. But if you can't, if you don't have it available, um, another thing you can do to clean your stethoscope is to use soapy water, just normal soapy water and a cloth or use the cotton tips as well. But number one rule, do not submerge your stethoscope in water. That is not the way to clean it. You've got to make sure that all parts are thoroughly dried before you put it all back together. So don't put your tubing in water and get, let water get into the tubing. It's, it's a disaster. Don't do that. <laughs> so if you like me, um, wear the stethoscope around your neck all day. Remember, you are bringing it into every room and seeing a lot of patients. So it's important that you do clean it after each use. You don't want any of that cross-contamination. The same as washing your hands. I mean, if you touch a patient, you would wash your hands. If this touches the patient, you need to wash it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and know a little bit more about how to clean your stethoscope. I will catch you on my next video and I hope your next shift will be a quiet one.